Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. The scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. One touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Here we go, here we go, here Gotta we go. Get that change we so we got man, man, man. <laughs> There's Garoppolo on first and ten. And his first pass is incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. But it's going to be second down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. And this offensive line, they're going to have to be a lot better than they were right there. We certainly won't measure them just by one play, but they definitely got a big challenge ahead of them in this one because this defense, they love to run blitz and they clog up the running lanes. Garoppolo to try again on second down. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco and a pickup of 16. He's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. 
Eight Come on, yards, man. first Let's go. down as they're able to convert. And defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important here we third go, here down we go. is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, they're able to put two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The former Purdue Bradermaker, Raheem Mostert. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. But offense is dialed up big shots downfield. But not only for the guys out wide, sometimes they want to go to their big target. Deep downfield, and the defense breathes a sigh of relief. 50-50 balls, not Let's easy go. to get Let's away go. from the big targets. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading the charge under center will be their six foot five quarterback, Carson Wentz. And I'll bet right now just one thought in his mind. Win, win the game. game. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? Touchdown hey, passes, two touchdown passes. Two touchdown passes. But when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Play the opening play, play of the drive Three. goes backwards. Now Let's they'll go. come up on Six second and 12. We got Working from the game, Reds. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. We're talking about Jason Kelsey now, not Travis, his brother who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. It's caught by Sanders. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. <laughs> There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to it. They made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Here we go, here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, Steve. Here Now Mostert. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's now at the line of scrimmage. No game that time. It leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo got his target, Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Here we go, here we go. He's such a great player. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a run. Rush and down he goes. Trevor Williams was shot out of Canada on the court and plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous go, quarter to get about go. half the yards back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Back to the sack on first down. Garoppolo. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. Here we go. 
often what I can sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both man. sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely hey. ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, okay. inside the five. Superb. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Nick Bosa in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Check 56. I'll get him. Get him. Get him. Now Wentz on third down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll get him down up past the 15. It's an Eagles first down on the game of the level. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover. The angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. receivers in today's NFL. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it never counts? No, not at all. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Throwing now is Wentz. Great solid coverage there by the All-Pro Richard Sherman, able to get a hand in. Well, look now at the defensive starting lineup for the 49ers. Against the pass, they're hoping to trend in the opposite direction, because right now they're ranked number 26 in the NFL. And even though that's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you can say, they get after the quarterback. They're the top 10 in the league in sacks. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Wild Bill, Wild Bill. From the gun, it's Wins. He's going to float this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Matt Lyle now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now 40 under pressure, and they get it. It's blocked. They have nothing but green grass here in the middle of the field. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. As his guys are in for six. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. 
Partners, you well know every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Next to score, Niners 7. Well, not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Let's go, boys! Bring it up! Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. What we got? What we got? It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Fast footwork by Sanders. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. Play the early shot here. I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and do some things up. And he's able to get out to the 32. Put down there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action. Now wins. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not Let's before go. they work it across midfield. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. To go for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available, and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second and nine, Wentz. That's caught by Jackson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. That catch for his career is number 589, so 11 away from 600, but it also right now ties him with Hall of Famer Fred Belenikoff. And we remember Fred Belenikoff well because of the way he went about his business in catching the football. And we're seeing something similar here. Someone who runs precise routes, has excellent hands, and knows how to get the ball to the end zone. This Six offense man. finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down. Right, and it's second and four. Drop deep, drop deep. Pick up in six. Oh, second down and four. Wentz. And Sanders has got it complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And just like that, it's third down. From the gun on third down, Lance. Got him in, he found Sanders. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 13-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first. Oftentimes, you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. Nice pickup for the first down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Second and five now. Lentz, this is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, his fifth touchdown now of the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They run there, and they got in 
for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. And they have been with a BAT, and we are tied at seven. So only even at seven days, they kick it away. Chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense getting their last minute instructions before they take over here. They've had it twice, they punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up the first down and change our momentum? Now this throw caught left side. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Here we go. Like 20. First down. Mike. Mike. Do the nightmare. Play action. Go out the line. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Here we go. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Garoppolo now. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 35. A gain of 19 yards. First down, San Francisco. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Five out of ten, 50 percent throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there. And it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Again, that throw with Garoppolo. He finds McKinnon. Complete. Keep playing. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And a lot of people ask the same here question go, all the go. time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, the ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's going to game for the defense. Second and goal from the one. They'll try and run with McCutton. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Round of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that will be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. 30, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown. So from one end zone all the way to the other, talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tent. <laughs> That's your boy, Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's kind of limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot in now as this one's in the air. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Set to get this drive underway. That's 
seven nothing lead in there is short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, go ahead, go ahead. but haven't they proven that they can go down? Let's go. Do it. So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Here we go, here we go. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. Now Garoppolo on the boot line. He's got his man on the comebacker. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Garoppolo now. 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Here we go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. Give him three on the play, and that'll lead him to a third game. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading on to the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Well, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Going on first is Lance. Now they go screen. It's complete. A nice little screen. They get six Great on job, first down. Great when you run a screen pass really well, you got to let the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work. The offensive lineman really fucking beat the ball. The back slipping out there, catching the football. They all been going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 26. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the concert. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Ten yards there, and he first down. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better, two weeks in a row, you have to drop as long as you want this way, won't you? I mean, West Coast is not just West Coast to either. He's putting the ball down field as well. Big two of their three reds on trip so far. They've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Throwing his wins. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Touchdown! Deshaun Jackson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Rolled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical 
physical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive takes him down the field, and he plays. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the penalty in the middle here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. Here we go, here we go. Second here we go. quarter onside here we kick go. there that fails. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? Check, check, check. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. They thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also, Good they signal that they feel like they have a superior team. They Keep can try these sorts of things, and it won't come back and hurt them later. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. The kick by Gold is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. 21-12, your final score. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. Josh Allen, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore and check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Phillip Rivers, four touchdown passes in the victory. In our game, it's been Carson Wentz with a strong first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you're all looking for some separation in this ball game. Adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, show them one thing, hit them with something else. On play action, Wentz, and down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the serve. Nick Bosa in there to drop it for his 11th sack of the year. And he's going to go down again. Nick Bosa racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. To me, the defense is a little gas near the end of the first half, but they come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. What what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. A good kick, 48 yards. Let's go! Let's on the go, return. Let's go! And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you to make sure you guys get those one-on-one -on -one blocks and create a crisp for your runner. But the converse is that you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to 
second third job. down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And a good pick up there of 20 yards. Here we go. Okay, double, 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 double. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big go. plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Here we go, here we go, Back to the 10, they'll try on second and goal here. They stay on the ground, again it's Coleman. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A very valuable nine-yard pickup, and now he's set up a little better here for third and goal. 53, 53, Mike, Mike. They'll try with McKinnon, and he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be any different? You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. Personal foul. I'm not sure what this Thanks is about. Man. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. Let's go. And it doesn't matter I'm anymore. Like first time you get the face mask, any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And they take him down, yeah, yeah. losing yardage back at the 27. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Let's go. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now, meanwhile, he's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Fred Warner, right there on the coverage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Tom, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right to kind of play into their hands. And now it's the punter Ryle on as he sends this one away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. Go. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. They're not happy about three point three point a three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to go through the contract. Let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped me in contract time. You, you could have been I don't know if that's going to match it. Super tall. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. Got one a first down pickup of eight. 53 come on. 53 come on. There's first and ten. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. He was brought down there by Will Parks. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Go, Sets up a very manageable second down. A very Big solid stop. gain on that Big play. Stop. Second and five now. 
Garoppolo. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And he'll be taken go, down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Here we go, here we go, here so we go. So from Philadelphia okay. territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Coleman. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll be a loss of 11. Here we go. What do you shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Sack and puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. A big play there for the Niners. 42 yards. There's an example of not taking your practice work, your drill work, and turning it into game speed. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You work on that all the time. Third and long, you want to let him make the catch, rally to the football, tackle him, short of the stick. The pursuit there, not that great. Yeah, not great. I mean, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kendrick Bourne, his fourth touchdown on the year. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking near yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? They'll try and run it here. And yeah, he will not make it to the goal line here. So they'll be unable to break this lead up to a field goal as it remains a one-point game. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it will stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two. Yeah. Right? So field goal still go, you puts the team ahead. So you go for two here to protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done. Though. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drops. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's right. Yo, train the tracks, baby. But man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Sander shaking and baking. And he will finally go out of bounds just shy of the three. A huge play there on the screen pass. 44 yards. I know we love our jobs. To pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Here 
So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And the gun, it's wins. It's caught by Johnson. And brought down, but now the field are inside the 20. We've got this. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eric Armstead able to record his fifth sack of the season. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Pass protection has been a problem all night long go, go, go. as they come up facing second and a bundle. To throw, it's wins. It's Brian Benjamin. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Or now is Wins. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction. And it leads to second down. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. Here's Wins to throw. touchdown on the season and the Eagles have retaken the lead and he's such a talented tight end just creates nightmarish tight matchups on the other side he's so good that when we say tight end we're almost damning him with faint praise aren't we because he can do it all he's as good as any receiver in the NFL well that's a deal he's a wide receiver just in a bigger body bigger body a matchup nightmare and who's going to cover when I sit in the film session I just look at the coach and say really Really Previous yell play is under review. You go cover him. says this one counts. Wins to throw again. And this one's caught. And the fourth quarter lead goes by a couple more. So they like to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there it worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Come on, baby. Let's go! And San Francisco gets set to go here. Here we go, here we go. I'm going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a dexy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. On play action, Magaropolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Boom. Here we go. That last Three. catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Garoppolo looks to throw. Got the connection here to Bull. 
And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 37. They all came together there in breaking we go, we go. route. Yeah. With excellent pace, money throw right there to move the sticks. Garoppolo now, first down throw. There goes a deep ball, in zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Randy McLeod. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. getting sent to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Well, run, it's Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On second down at four, Wentz going to look deep for Jeffrey. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. A critical error there in a tight game of the four. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess here what? We go, here we go, There's here we go. still time for Lucky. a few more turning points in this ball game. Oh, yeah. Throwing one score down. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. We could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Well, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over Here we go. is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allow them to move to the football and keep that running game bottled up. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. The Niners on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And he's brought down. But not before they get it across the 20 yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And with that last nice play, he's now over that 300 yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game. To me, 300. And for a third time today, he's intercepted. Picked off by Will Pants. And he'll get this back to the 32 yard line. Twice now in this fourth quarter. There's a quarterback. A lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. unit now as they head out to take over possession and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window i think you are i don't think that there's any way you can run back out there ah, totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here
Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here we go, here we go. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And they'll get this down to 10. Give them 14 on that one. And a first down. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. On first down. It's Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A six yard pickup brings up second and four at the four yard line. On second down and four. Yes. This is caught. Touchdown passes down for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hand trick here as this one continues to go. Kelly and on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. Let's go back to the end zone for a touchdown. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. Here we go. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect and near perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors. Here we go, here we go. It's still playing perfect football. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Garoppolo to try to get on second down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking from the gun, Garoppolo. Open man is born. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Called out a very strong gain of 24. So for Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So the line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo connects with Kittle underneath. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On third game. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and nine. Tight end, Jeff Swain. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. It brings up second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Second and ten for the incompletion on first down. Here we go. There's Moster. Swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
hear the calls for a penalty, but I just let's don't go, think so. Go. I think in this situation, the defender's making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything going to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Well, on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Another run with Sanders. And able to find a little space, he gets us up over the 15 to the 16. You got it. You got it. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here we go, back back. 180. Yeah, right there, 56. And hey, we're pretty quiet, dude. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that will be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Fielded at about the 28. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here we go, here we go. Black and the Niners now. Down by two touchdowns. Less than 90 seconds to go. Garoppolo And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Across midfield inside the 45. Two throws, Garoppolo. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Here we go. This was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him here easily. Here we go, here we go. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Garoppolo again to the end zone, but it's incomplete. This defense was here we go, here we go. to the fight the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox, and the Eagles defense into the hole. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Sanders credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Philadelphia, they'll finish the first half of the schedule dead even at 4-4. Four and four. And they will hit the road next week to take on the